America. I'm Christy Shamblin. My daughter-in-law, Sergeant Nicole Leanne G. Was a United States Marine, and she was killed at Abbey Gate in Afghanistan alongside 12 of her brothers and sister-in-arms. While Joe Biden has refused to recognize their sacrifice, Donald Trump spent six hours in Bedminster with us. He allowed us to grieve. He allowed us to remember our heroes. Donald Trump knew all of our children's names. He knew their stories, and he spoke to us in a way that made us feel understood, like he knew our kids. He carried, Donald Trump carried the weight for a few hours with me. Yeah. And for the first time since Nicole's death, I felt I wasn't alone in my grief. <laughs> Thank you. I had expected to meet an arrogant politician. Instead, I met a man who had empathy for us. He was compassionate, and he spent time with us because he knew it would make us feel better. Thank you, President Trump. I'm Cheryl Jules, Nicole's aunt. Joe Biden said the withdrawal from Afghanistan was an extraordinary success. An extraordinary success. Look at our faces. Look at our pain and our heartbreak. And look at our rage. That was not an extraordinary success. The humiliation of our nation was not an extraordinary success. <laughs> Joe Biden may have forgotten that our children died, but we have not forgotten. Donald Trump has not forgotten. Joe Biden owes the men and women that served in Afghanistan a debt of gratitude and an apology. Yeah. Donald Trump loves this country and will never forget the sacrifice and bravery of our service members. Join us in putting him back in the White House. I'm Alicia Lopez, and this is my husband, Herman. Our son, Corporal Hunter Lopez, whose name Joe Biden has refused to say out loud, was killed on August 26, 2021. He died during Joe Biden's disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. Hunter was 22 years old. 
and planned to come home to California after his tour to follow in our footsteps. Herman and I work for the Riverside County Sheriff's Office. And our family has a tradition of service in law enforcement. Hunter was excited to carry it on. Instead, in the nearly three years since Hunter's been gone, there has been silence. Silence from that empty space at the dinner table where Hunter would have joined his brothers and sister and us for family gatherings. And there has been a deafening silence from the Biden and Harris administration. Despite our pleas for answers and accountability, they have pushed us away and tried to silence us. The Biden administration has not owned up to the bad decisions. They have not been transparent about their failures. And their so-called leaders work to protect themselves rather than our sons and daughters who took the oath to defend our country. Thank you. When Hunter and the other service members' bodies were returned to the U.S. in Dover, Delaware, Joe Biden met the plane. But he made the occasion more about his son, lost to cancer, than our sons and daughters, lost on his watch. Worse than that, he has never said their names out loud. And during, and during last month's debate, he claimed no service members have died during his administration. None. That hurt us all deeply. So Alicia and I are here to say the names of all 13 service members who lost their lives. All 13 service members who lost their lives at Abbey Gate. David Espinoza. Nicole G. Taylor Hoover. Ryan C. Knaus. Riley McCollum. Dylan Marola. Kareem Nakui. Dagan Page. Johanny Petardo. Umberto Sanchez. Jared Schmitz. Maxon Soviak. And my son, Hunter Lopez.
Joe Biden has to go. He failed the American people. He failed the Afghan people and our military service members. He failed our family, and he failed Hunter. Donald Trump has a proven record of keeping the peace and honoring those in uniform. All of us on this stage recognize the efforts of Mr. Trump. We know this firsthand. We've experienced it. Whenever we've met with him, he has demonstrated compassion. He has joined us on our mission for answers. And he has given hope to our extended Gold Star family. Now, we have another son serving in the Army. And we do not trust Joe Biden with his life. We have faith that Donald Trump to lead our military Please join us in supporting Donald Trump for President and Commander-in-Chief. <laughs> 